Hello everyone, today we will talk about Datastore. Datastore is a Jetpack library that is the best solution for handling key value data. This is built using Kotlin coroutines and flows and this means that it cannot block the main thread as it is asynchronous, so that's the best part about it. Now let's see how to implement this in Android Studio. Now let's go in the build.data.kts from the app module and make sure that you have the Datastore preferences and the lifecycle runtime compose added and we are using the lifecycle runtime compose because we want to listen the to the flow values with the lifecycle aware monir using the collect test state with lifecycle. Now let's go back in the main activity and let's create the data store class. So let's say user informations and now we need to open the curly brackets and let's simply name it user information and we need to add the context in the constructor so private ball context and pass it here now we need to access the context to create a data store value so data store by preferences data store and this will be the name of the data store so let's say user info and to access the data we need to create a key so let's say companion object open the curly brackets and now let's say name and we need to create a string preferences key and this will be the key name so name key we can also have different types of keys so we can have an int and so on so for example preferences we can have all the primitive types and the key type means the return type of the value and let's create a function that will let's rename this to name key and now let's create a function that will update the user name so let's say suspend fun update name pass a name here of type string put equals and now we are gonna use the context to access the data store so context dot data store and in order to overwrite a value we need to say edit and this will give us the data uh, the data store settings that we can use in order to edit the current value of the name so let's say name key because we need to pass the key in order to access the value and we are setting a new value to that key now if you want to retrieve the name from the data store you can create a variable that will do that so let's say name is equal to context dot data store data and now we need to map through that data and this will give us the preferences and with the key we can access the value so name key and this will be returned here and name will be of type flow of a nullable string now let's see how we can listen to the name in the ui and how we can update the name so let's say ball data store is equal to remember because we don't want to reinitiate after each recomposition user information and pass this as context now let's go down here and let's get the name data store name and collect as lifecycle a state with lifecycle i'm sorry and put an initial value of an empty string it's okay also let's replace the equals with by to easily access the value so let's say column and pass a text and now we need to pass the name and if it's null we can say empty name and let's also increase the font size to 32 and now let's add a button that will update the text value so let's say on click now we need to create a curating scope because as you noticed the update name is a suspend function so let's say curating scope is equal to remember curating scope and now we can use it here to launch a curating scope and say data store update name and pass a new name so let's say new name and here we can add some text to the button so let's say update name now let's run this on the pixel device okay let me add some padding to fix this so padding but before that wrap this with a scaffold and get the inner padding and simply pass it here and 
now let's rerun okay and now it's empty name and let's update the name with a new name so that's it and if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next video